Well, you know, we've learned a lot of recipes today, but what makes the perfect sandwich? Executive Chef Gregory Casali of Paradise Bakery and the Cafe is here to help us out. We're learning about the essentials, the things that make it good. We've got the recipes, but that only takes us so far. I, I know. And th is it true they save the best for last? Oh, yes. It oh, is. Absolutely. I thought so. <laughs> so what was I saying just before we were during the break? You said breads, spreads. spreads. Body, Body, garnish. Garnish. Okay, so if we can remember those those essential ingredients to a sandwich, then you can go home and really play with it and have a lot of fun. Okay, so starting with the breads. Starting with breads. Obviously, there are lots of variety of breads, but, um, you know, we often think of, in the United States, uh, the European tradition of breads. Uh -huh. You know, we think about uh, these kind of rustic kind of European breads, croissants, maybe even little rolls if you're doing like a cocktail party you might right, choose. Okay. So you start out by choosing bread. First thing to choose bread, obviously, fresh. It's fresh. Obviously, what we're Fresh we're, is best. Absolutely. It's what we're about at Paradise Bakery is fresh baked bread. We make it every day. Choose fresh, great bread. But try and think out of the box. You know, something like a tortilla is still bread. It still makes a great sandwich. You know, mm -hmm. really, when you think about a, a sandwich, it's an edible casing. You know, so so if you okay. think about that, and you of, are seriously thinking about sandwiches, an edible casing, right? An yes. Edible case. So really, like a taco is kind of a sandwich when you think about it, because it, it, it has stuff inside and it has that edible casing around it. Okay, so once we've picked our bread, this once is what kind right bread, here. This right here is ciabatta bread, and I'm just kind of cutting that down. Then we <laughs> move to the spreads. Then we come to the spreads. And at Paradise Bakery, we use a variety of different spreads. And really, the spread is going to give that uniqueness to a, mm -hmm. to, to a sandwich. It's going to give that little lift, that, that, uh, that, that uh, flavor that's going to be unique to that, f that sandwich. But also, spreads uh, can, can have a utilitarian function. What a spread can, will, will do is actually protect the bread against uh, getting soggy. Oh, okay. All right. Most spreads, not all, but most spreads have a, an element of, of oil or fat in them, and that actually helps pr put a protective layer down. On, so you don't on fall apart. It, exactly right. I tried this <clears throat> one on Sunday in your Tuscan chicken, and it was fabulous. It was like what? Like that's, a, that's an uh, green olive and um, pepperoncini relish. That's awesome. Or a tapenade. And exactly right. And that's where you can really be creative is with these spreads. You know, we have mayonnaise here, but you can, f they flavor mayonnaise now. We have this pesto mayonnaise where you have a mustard mayonnaise mm. or any variety of different uh, uh, flavors to those kind of spreads. Next, you move to the body of the sandwich. Okay. That's that thing in the middle that really is what you'd say, oh, it's a roast beef sandwich? Well, because the body of it is a roast beef. Um, it doesn't always have to be a sliced uh, meat. It can sometimes be a composite salad, like our chicken walnut salad at Paradise Yum. Bakery, one of our best sellers at Chicken yeah. Walnut Salad. I know you said you're a fan of it. I'm a fan of it, but I broke out last Sunday and I got the Tuscan chicken. It was good. Exactly right. Or, you know, a, another example might be tuna fish salad. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, you, you can really expand that to a lot of different things. The, the, the last component of a sandwich to make a great sandwich is the garnish. Mm -hmm. And those are things like tomatoes and lettuce, which are more traditional. But, you know, if you think out of the box, you can think out of things. I have, I have here, I brought, obviously, some onions, some cucumbers, some pepperoncini. Uh, I like uh, the artichoke. Artichokes. You know what's a great a garnish that I love to what? put on sandwiches is coleslaw. Really? Yeah. Unpredictable. Yeah. yeah. Well, these are some last... Mm -hmm. You have 10 different types over there at Paradise Bakery. And I appreciate you coming in. It's oh, always so great to see much. you, Gregory. And you can find... Um, perhaps the ba the Paradise Bakery location closest to you and enjoy one of these delicious, delicious sandwiches. What do you call it? I can't remember that. You know, it's the... Edible crust. Edible, ed edible, edible casing. casing. There you go. Edible casing. <laughs> the, it's just a big hunk of goodness is what it is. So we will provide you with information for the Paradise Bakery location nearest you. And I hope you've really learned something new, maybe a recipe that people are going to try at home. They looked, all of them look great. I know you're partial to Paradise, but there are some good I things. I know. Well, a lot of those, those chefs are my friends. So I, know great to see them. I know they are. I know they are.